Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill and on this channel we talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. I also talk about celebrities and the products that they use. So if you want to learn all these little secrets that they have, then make sure to subscribe. Today's video is about the talented and beautiful Leah Michelle. Now I included Leah in a video a few months back about buckle fat removal that you can watch right here. And Leah is the subject of today's video because of her ever-changing look. Now Leah has some fantastic beauty traits and in this video we're going to find out if Leah's beauty is natural or if she's had a little bit of help. Now remember, all of the opinions expressed in this video are my own and they're my speculation only. I have no proof or receipts that the celebrity we're talking about has had any of the surgeries that we talk about them having. Never use my videos as a way to shame or hate on that celebrity. Let's get started. Leah Michelle was born on August 29th, 1986, and she's an actress, singer, and author. She gained widespread recognition for her role as Rachel Berry in the popular television series Glee. Now, Leah's portrayal of Rachel Berry, a talented and ambitious high school singer, earned her critical acclaim and numerous award nominations. Prior to Glee, Leah had already established herself as a theater actress. She made her Broadway debut at the age of only eight years old in the musical Les Miserables, and later appeared in productions like Ragtime, Fiddler on the Roof, and Spring Awakening. Now apart from her acting career, Leah has released music as a solo artist. Her debut album was called Louder and peaked at number 4 on the Billboard 200 chart. She has also contributed to the soundtracks of Glee and released a Christmas album called Christmas in the City. Outside of Leah's professional achievements, she's also been involved in philanthropy. She supports various charitable organizations including PETA, Habitat for Humanity, and Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Let's talk about Leah's natural beauty traits. I love Leah's wide and bright smile. She has a gorgeous smile reveal with lots of tooth show. I also love Leah's large expressive eyes and eyelashes. She definitely uses her eyes to convey emotion in her acting. Lastly, I love Leah's lush and thick hair. It's absolutely stunning and she can do so much with it. Let's take a look at Leah in 2004 and compare with 2006. I noticed that between the two photos, her teeth look different. Now I assume in the 2004 photo that those are Leah's natural teeth. If you notice, they're differently shaped and a different shade than her teeth in 2006. I do think that in 2006, Leah has gotten eight veneers done to her teeth. The veneers are notably whiter and more opaque than her natural teeth. Their shape is also changed and the new shape is more of a rounded square. Today's video is sponsored by Factor and you guys, I wanna take a moment now to really thank you for your support of my sponsors. Your support of my sponsors is truly why I'm able to keep making these videos. I am a Factor partner and Factor is a home delivery meal service that I've been using now for about five months. In fact, I love them so much that I kept purchasing their meals after our first sponsorship with them was over. Like paying my own money, you guys. I work from home and before I started getting Factor meal delivery, I would just eat whatever was in the fridge, which honestly was me piecing together all sorts of things to make a complete meal. Factor has really come to my rescue as far as meals are concerned. It allows me to eat healthy and delicious meals with zero preparation, trips to the grocery store, and clean up afterwards. Factor meals are chef prepared and dietitian approved. They're always fresh, never frozen and they come right to your door delivered in a refrigerated container that can stay outside for a good few hours before you have any issues with it. They have keto, vegan and vegetarian options, protein plus, and the new gourmet plus options. They even have smoothies. The meals are delicious, you guys, and they only take two minutes to heat up. You poke a few holes in the plastic and pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and that's it. You have a healthy, nutritious lunch. It's less expensive than takeout, 
less expensive than a meal delivery service. This jalapeno lime cheddar chicken was so delicious. Even my son agrees. Mmm, yummy. I love it. I feel like Factor is really good for busy people who want a healthy and delicious meal, but who can't spend the time making it themselves. And Factor is flexible. You can adjust your meal size and even skip a week if you need to. So if you'd like to try Factor Meals, you know I have a discount code for you. All you need to do is head over to factor75.com or click the link below and put in code LORIHILL50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. If we look at Leah here, we see that she's changed out her previous veneers with new veneers that look a lot more natural. They also look longer than her previous veneers. If you take a look at Leah's back teeth right here, you'll see that they appear to be shorter than the teeth in front. This is a common sign of someone having cosmetic dentistry and this is also the look of someone getting veneers or crowns that are longer than their natural teeth. Many times this is done to make the smile look larger and more glamorous. The back teeth are kept short and natural in order to retain the bite and be able to eat and chew well, whereas the teeth that are more forward facing are lengthened. In this case, it looks like Leah has had eight veneers or crowns added to her teeth in order to widen and make her smile look big and Hollywood and glamorous. She looks beautiful. Now in 2013, we still see the same beautiful look to Leah with extra long eyelashes as well. Now it's in 2016 where we start to see a change to Leah's nose. Leah has always maintained that she's resisted getting a rhinoplasty. She said that as a younger person, she was pressured to have her nose done. And because of her upbringing, she was able to ignore the mean comments about her nose and not buckle to peer pressure to have her nose done. Also, it's been said that one of Leah's idols is Barbara Streisand, and she was told that Barbara Streisand also had pressure to have a nose job, and she never buckled to that pressure. Now, while all this may be very true, it does appear that in 2016, her nose was changed. And let me tell you what I see. I see that her nasal tip was made smaller, and I see that the lateral cartilages of the nose have been shaved down. They've also brought in her whole nose base to make it it look more narrow. And the shape of her original nose is still there, but it just looks like they've made the whole nose smaller. After taking a closer look at Leah's possible rhinoplasty, I think the main goal was to have a symmetrical nose regardless of its size. Which is to say that I don't think the goal of the rhinoplasty was to give Leah a noticeably smaller nose or to make it look like she just has a small nose. What I specifically noticed is it was shaved down more on her right side than her left side. The left side was still shaved down, just not as much as the right side. The whole nose was straightened out as well. This could have been a septorhinoplasty, which helps the functionality of the nose and really helps with breathing as well. Now let's look at Leah in 2017 and it looks like there's been no changes. In 2018, also looks like there's been no changes. Now in 2019, Leah looking beautiful and she looks unchanged as far as any facial plastic surgery. I wanted to address Leah Michelle's possible jaw filler. If we look at her in 2018, her jaw was much less full. Now she does have a naturally square jaw, but it wasn't as bulky as it is today. I see that her jaw angles are a lot more structured and I think that it's likely she had a jaw filler put in like radiates. 
Now in 2021, it looks like Leah has started to put lip filler into her upper and lower lip. This time it's a very dramatic difference and it looks great with her face because she has large features, large bone structure. So the lips look great as well. And in 2022, it looks like Leah's continuing with the dramatic upper and lower lip filler. Now it's around this time that I noticed Leah may have had buccal fat removal where a surgeon removes the area of fat that rests right here and it's called your buccal fat. They can either take partial or full and it's a very easy outpatient surgery. But what's important here is you should be a good candidate for buccal fat removal, meaning that if you have excess buccal fat, and you remove some, generally it'll give you a good result and you won't look older or more blonde. But if you don't have the excess fat, sometimes removing that buccal fat will make you look more gaunt and drawn in. And with larger bone structures like Leah has, if you remove the buccal fat, you're removing the softness of the face and really calling attention to the large bone structure. We also see that Leah doesn't have a ton of forwardly grown cheeks. And so when this is the case, you remove the support of the cheeks when you remove that buccal fat. And oftentimes the face will look just a bit more flat as well. And that's what we're seeing here. I don't think Clea was a good candidate for buccal fat removal, but I think she looks beautiful nevertheless. Some of you may be wondering, well, can buccal fat removal be reversed? Unfortunately, it's very difficult to replace that buccal fat because of where it's located. You would need direct vision, meaning the surgeon would likely have to pull your skin back and look in order to place it. It would be very hard to do. Maybe the other alternative would be to place it endoscopically, but from my knowledge, I'm not sure that's possible either. I have heard of people attempting to do fat transfer to the area, but again, the fat is not transferred to the buccal fat area. It's transferred a bit more superficially than that. Basically, once the buccal fat is gone, it's, it's gone. So it's important to be a good candidate prior to getting this procedure done. Now here's Leah in 2023. I wanted to briefly talk about Leah's appearance at the Met Gala. When I look at her face here, I do see that she's strikingly thinner with less facial fat overall. I don't think that this is the result of any plastic surgery or cosmetic procedures, as her body is also quite thin. It looks to me that Leah has lost a significant amount of weight, and it's enough to show in her face as well. Now, as far as body plastic surgery, I don't think that Leah has had any plastic surgery procedures done to her body. Now, let's talk about the beauty products that Leah loves. She uses the Nurse Jamie Uplift Massaging Beauty Roller, and I actually have this one, and I use it often prior to applying makeup, and especially in the morning when I feel extra puffy. It does make a visible difference in smoothing morning skin puffiness. Now, for her nighttime routine, Leah applies the on Honest organic facial oil, which is great for hydration on very sensitive skin and even good for oily skin prone to breakouts. I really love this facial oil. Leah also uses the Dennis Gross Skin Care Alpha Beta Daily Peel Packets, which I really love when I can't get to a facialist to get a peel. This is literally the easiest at-home peel you can do and still be effective. It comes with a pack of two pouches of wipes that you apply by massaging into your skin. You can actually use them daily and still see really good results. They clear the complexion. For me, they've reduced the look of fine lines and it visibly improves skin tone and texture. Now, Leah loves a good facial mask and she uses the Pacifica Stress Rehab and Caffeine Facial Mask in white coconut. Now this one is specifically to moisturize and de-stress the skin and it's light and not greasy. This one is great to be used before a special event. Now for a nightly eye cream, Leah uses this popular one. It's called the IS Clinical Youth Eye Complex Anti-Aging Brightening Under Eye Cream, and it reduces puffiness, hydrates, and firms the under eyes. Now, interestingly, Leah uses a copper skin mist, 
Now, this one protects your skin from free radicals and environmental pollutants. It contains antioxidants that neutralize pollutants, while the copper PCA regulates your skin's pH levels and stimulates collagen. And copper is said to be great for its anti-aging properties. It's very unusual to find anti-aging products that have copper in them, so I was instantly interested in this spray. Now, for a daily moisturizer, Leah uses the Control Corrective Ceramide Moisturizer. This contains ceramides that deeply hydrate the skin. Now, I do well personally with ceramide moisturizers like CeraVe. This one leaves your skin soft all day and night without clogging your pores, and it's a very good upgraded moisturizer if you're looking for an upgrade from CeraVe. Now, for a body lotion, Leah loves Necessaire the Body Lotion, which is fragrance-free, and it's a multivitamin moisturizer that contains niacinamide and peptides. It nourishes and strengthens the skin's barrier. Now, she actually tagged this lotion out unsponsored to my knowledge on her social media. Now for Leah's beautiful hair, she uses a surprisingly inexpensive shampoo and conditioner literally found on Amazon, the Rehoa Shampoo and Conditioner. Now for better sleep, Leah uses the Moon Juice Magnesium Powder. Magnesium plays this huge role in helping you feel a natural calm and get restful deep sleep. This formula helps support muscle relaxation reduces those little aches and pains, and even alleviates symptoms of PMS to help you fall asleep and stay asleep. Leah also uses the Osea Vagus Nerve Spray. Now, the vagus nerve activates the body's relaxation response and helps regulate stress, and it's the longest cranial nerve in the body. This spray is said to help you not wake up at night. The reviews are crazy positive, with users saying they stopped waking up at night, so I have, of course, gone ahead and ordered it. Now, last but not least, Leah loves these Eber J pajamas for bedtime. Now they look so classy and really heighten the look of pajamas. So I had to include them because I think they're just gorgeous. Let's add up all of Leah Michelle's possible plastic and cosmetic procedures and find out how much it costs to look like Leah Michelle. All prices are based at the high end of the price range. Rhinoplasty, 20,000. Lip filler for multiple years, 10,000. Buckle fat removal, 5,000. First set of veneers at 4,000 each, 32,000. Second set of eight veneers, 32,000. Jaw filler, 10,000. Total cost, $109,000. Let me know what you think of Leah Michelle's transformation. Please be nice or neutral in the comments. There's no reason to be mean. Also let me know, are there any skincare products that she uses that you're particularly interested in? Up next, I have my Anne Hathaway celebrity analysis. So make sure to watch that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>